Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain you about how to configure a DNS server for Linux. Okay, so guys, this is my new channel. Okay, name is uh, Redbot Blocks. Okay, so I'm I have made this channel so kindly do subscribe to my channels over here so that I can upload you a new videos about current technologies each and everything okay so I need your supports so guys uh, uh, I'm getting started to my new videos uh, about the Linux okay so I'm gonna explain you how to you configure the basic Linux configurations okay so for that you need to have a Linux configuration server okay so currently I'm using uh, Red Hat Linux so the basic step is that you need to have a the installation part is done only I will explain you how you can configure the basic DNS server okay so there are there are many concepts of DNS server okay like uh, you can activate as a forwarder, you can activate as a local DNS server, you can activate as a like uh, private, it depends upon you like what are you doing. So, in my case, I'm gonna like, configure the DNS server where is that will act as a cache only DNS server. So, this is just a demo which I am doing right now okay so first things what you need to know you need to have to install the package called as the bind package okay let me check whether it's installed on my PC or not okay so what you have to do yum you need to know the configuration of yum it's very easy okay so if you want I can provide you the link and descriptions so what you have to do for installation of DNS you have to just type yum install bind package okay so bind required for that so just install this package why I'm just checking whether it's installed or not okay so yeah it's getting installed the bind services which is required for DNS so now it's checking checking see the repositories that's a bind lab 3.5 it has been installed now okay it's done now so what we have to do in this we have to create uh, the zones okay like whatever your DNS is okay so in that you have to just create a zones so what I will do I will just today I will just install caches only DNS server okay in that case what you will do you will go to the configuration files okay yeah it's in will be easy as yeah it's like EDC md yeah it's EDC and md dot com so it is a configuration for us to look at it okay just open this files Okay, so this is the DNS configuration files name. Okay, so I will just highlight you. Okay, the ports on the options. Option ports distance on the port number 53. DNS. In this, you can provide any. Okay, if you want to provide any IP, certain IP, you can do over here. And allow queries. In that allow queries, you can. Uh, it might be there is a local host. You can put. Uh, any IPs you want to resolve okay so this recursion recursion is very important okay if, you're, if you have commenting this line so if you want to configure the local DNS server so recursion is not on so it won't work okay so currently for like cache if you want to make a cache DNS server so I think you know about the Google cache DNS server okay so in that case what you have to do you have to just insert a line and just type forwarders okay so for if you type this forwarder so what it will do I will just take you downstairs okay so there is a root files over here yeah this is a zone called zone creations there is a zone creations over here 
yeah of course it will take from the routine files is the name the dot com and then if you want to type uh, and then you have to just this is a routine file but if you want to just make a cache only dns server just type the forwarder and just give the ip of dns cache over here and the main thing is that if you want to use as a forwarder first so you can know the insert of then just go type over here and just type forward forward just type forward first okay you can give this forward okay forward so what it will do it will just use the routine files and then it will uh, use as a forwarder so i think it will be better for you so in that case after doing that what you have to do uh, you have to go to the uh, database file where is it exactly located you have to go to cd or name d okay and this you will get a file called uh, like name uh, name dot ca this is the main configuration file okay so what you will do or uh, i think for, for cache dns server nothing you have to do only you have to just put the forwarder ib over there in the main configuration file and you have to just go with one command okay system cdl status just check whether it's on or not it's a uh, name this service name is uh, name d dot com Okay. Uh, system CDL. What do you have to do? Just restart the service first. It will be better. In that case, system CDL restart name D. Okay, now I'll just check the status whether the service is running or not. Let's check whether this service is running. Okay, the service is running active. Okay, and uh, yeah, I've created two zones over there, so that's reason showing like all zones are loaded, running. Okay. So now your cache is only DNS server is ready. Okay, and if you want to use this, just use your IP, whatever IP if you want, in any of the client machines. Okay, yeah, just use your DNS like server IP, and you can have this cache, cache only DNS server. So it's uh, so guys, it's very easy to uh, install cache Google cache DNS server in Linux. Okay. So guys, if you think it's uh, really helpful for you and if you find anything problem in Linux related to anything, so any configuration files, if you find difficult, guys, you can just comment on my videos and guys, I really want you all like, to be subscribed my channel, it's uh, Rebound Blogs, okay, so I will give you day-to-day -day life for uh, each and every videos related to Linux, related to technologies and related to day-to-day -day life. So I, I hope you guys you like my videos do comment share and please uh, like my videos guys thank you thank you very much